Hey YouTube, guess what I got in? Been waiting on it since December the 28th and I didn't think it'd ever get here, but it's here. I got my uh, Vepper 545 by 39 hunting rifle. And we're gonna do an unboxing. This is what it looks like when you get it, wrapped up in this old newspaper. Looks like. Whoa. There you go. Hey, it's got the the dark the dark stock thumb hoe. Actually, looks pretty nice. Uh, this is the uh, five four five by thirty nine model, uh, sixteen point five inch barrel. It's not an AK-74. See if I can hold it so you can see it. But internally, it's made about the same. Got the little plastic protector here. I don't know why they don't call this an AK-74. Probably because it's not. Supposedly, it has a thicker uh, receiver. It doesn't take the standard AK. You can modify it by by shaving down this little uh, the top of this magazine release and putting a bullet plate in up here, and then it'll work with your standard magazines. Real close up so you can see the stock. Let's see what other kind of stuff is in this box. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> Looks like one of those uh, butt plate uh, packs that hold uh, brushes and stuff like that. Here's my uh, magazines. Looks like I got a five and a ten round, which is good. I got this little piece of metal all wrapped up. Pin rod. Huh. Uh, can't put the cleaning rod on it, so I guess that's one of the other differences. Uh, another difference is that it's got this slanted uh, cut on the receiver, so you can't put a standard AK uh, stock on it. But you can buy adapters for it. See if we can get the plate off here. There. A little hard getting off. This plate looks the same as the AK. It's a spring. Looks like a standard AK-74 spring. Bolt. This is chromed. Let's see if y'all can see the barrel. see through there the, the barrel there's a the rifle in chrome line barrel there you can 
see the squirrels right there. Anyway, going close up. Check out that checkering. Thumbhole stock. Carrier down there. Now oh, there's a hammer. Check out this butt plate. Looks pretty cool. Looks really well made. Just a normal little spring. And I didn't think I was going to have, here's the book that it comes with. I wasn't going to be able to shoot it, but I was able to find some ammo at the pawn shop down by my house. All right, let's look at what these bullets look like. I've never seen an AK-74 bullet, so uh, let's see what they look like. Looks like there's more than 20 in here. He told me there was 20. <laughs> There's 30. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's a little better. That's about that's about 20 cents a shell. Maybe I ought to go back and buy the rest of them tomorrow. Nowadays, uh, 20 cents a bullet isn't that bad. Still cased. Check that out. Bad mother looking. Some markings right here I want to show y'all. Okay, let's put the bolt back in. See how easy that's gonna be. Show it in the gas hole. Line it up, push it in there. Spring. Shove that in there. Push it forward. Get the spring hold. Feels pretty good. Get the cover. Push it on. See how the mags fit. There you go. Slides right in. It's pretty strong. Let's try the five. Five round mag. There you go. <laughs> Looks kind of dorky with a little five round magazine, doesn't it? Ten round in. It's a little better. 
I want to get a 30. So, let me go get an AK-74 round. Now that looks like a real gun there, but it don't really fit. Because you have to file down the uh, hole there to make it work. But that's how it would look. Alright, let's put some bullets in here and see how they fit. There's 10. Can you put 11? Nope, can't put 11 in there. There you go. What's the difference between the 10, the uh, standard Viper mag? See this little piece right there? That's uh, I just want to show you real quick uh, how I uh, use my rotary tool.